Hello, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a quick, useful way to get almost any image, well, any like PNG image into Tinkercad. You know, you can turn almost any image into a 3D object and then export it as an STL to print. It's very, very simple. It took me a while to figure it out. I haven't seen anyone do it this way. There may be a better way. This is just how I do it. It's easy, simple, and quick. And it works for me, and it may work for you. So follow along. I'm just gonna give an example here. We're in Photoshop. Gonna create a new canvas. We're gonna go 800 by 600, doesn't matter. And then I'm just going to put my name. I'm gonna go ahead and center that. I don't think it needs to be centered, but I do it anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and save that as a PNG. Call it Avil. Save. Okay. Now you can also do this in Paint if you don't have Photoshop. If you have Windows, I'm sure you've got Microsoft Paint. As you can see, I have it uh, the name right here. It would be the same. You just save as. PNG and then save it. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now, here is the website, which I'll link in the description, that makes this all possible. This is where you're going to convert your PNG to an SVG. So we're going to go ahead and choose the file, the PNG you just made. We're going to open it right here. We're going to click Start Conversion. Let it do its thing. It doesn't take very long at all. Click download. Then we're going to go over to Tinkercad, click import, choose file, click the SVG that you just created. Now here you can make it smaller, it doesn't need to be that huge. Actually anything over 1000 on either of these you're going to get an error so you have to drop the size anyway. So let's just go to 300. You only have to change one side, the other side see it will automatically change. Click import, and there you go. From here, you know, you can edit it just like you would edit anything in Tinkercad. Now, this also works with other PNG images. Like, for example, let's save this sea turtle that I just Googled. Uh, we'll go ahead and call that ST. Save it. Go back to the converter website choose files, click the ST, and start conversion, and download. Go back over to Tinkercad, import, choose file, ST, change that size again, import, Oh, wow, that's still very huge. <laughs> Shrink that down a little bit. There you go. You now have a printable sea turtle, uh, if that's what you want. Now, there are some catches. Um, let's, you, you can't do it with these images, you know. It's got to be like an outline or, you know, black and white like this. However, doesn't always come out great. You kind of have to pick and choose. See like this, all of these, all the detail here, it could potentially get lost. Um, I'll try to show you an example here. So I think that it gets lost in the import process of Tinkercad. Hopefully this will work the way that I've seen it work. Okay. You see, see how the detail right here got lost? Like if we go back to the original, see all of this right here, this detail that didn't transfer over, like there's a lot missing. Um, it's just kind of hit or miss. You kind of have to pick and choose. Or you know, you could always just uh, do your own shapes in there fill it out with your own shapes, you know, whatever, grab a couple of these and move them over, which that's kind of extensive because you'll have to copy this, pretty much make an entire copy of the item, 
and then make boxes around what you don't want to copy. Uh, we'll just leave it with that. This is just for demonstration purposes. Group that, get, gets rid of that, and then you can go in here and kind of just fill that out, which again, this is not perfectly done. You know, you can uh, spend more time and get better results, obviously, but I'm just going quick again for demonstration purposes. So if it fills that bag out, obviously you won't have this over here. You can, you know, cut it better, like I said. But for the most part, I usually will edit my design mentally when I'm looking for, you know, a specific PNG like this. I looked at this, I knew it would be perfect. There is no way in hell that, that all of that's going to transfer over. This, I kind of knew that some of it, the smaller bits, would have a problem transferring over some of the detail would get lost but anyway i hope this was informative and if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments and i will answer them to the best of my ability and until next time i hope you have the best day ever then we're going to go over to tinker then we're going to go over to tinker